uh, based on loosely on something that I had made for myself 35 years ago uh, with the addition of a suggestion from Kathy Smith, a technician from California, who uh, said that she and David put holes in their key steps so they would fit onto the key pin and not fall off. And anyway, I thought this was a great idea. I asked them what they thought and they said, yeah, go ahead and make them. Uh, I changed the hole into an oval um, because if it's just a round hole, it can spin round and round the key pin, which is particularly annoying when it's on a sharp. Anyway, I'd made these things uh, to level keys with. And some people call them leveling jacks. I call it a key step. And the idea of jacking the key up to the right height and then you set your uh, straight edge on the samples that are supported by your key jacks and then you level the keys in between. And suddenly it occurred to me, whoa, I ought to pre-level the keys that are going to be um, my samples so that when I'm done, they're done. And I don't have to figure out what to do with them and add punchings in, which is just, you know, that's annoying. And um, I was a little annoyed at myself for it taking about 35 years to come to that conclusion. But anyway, it led me to an observation. And that is, it'll be easier to see on this side, that the key naturally rests on the back rail and the balance rail. If we're using a key dip sample as our gauge of how things were in the piano and setting up on the bench, uh, it requires three keys. If uh, I, ca I came to a conclusion that doing two samples was better than one because uh, our smallest punching was three thousandths of an inch and I was using a WNG dip block and I could tell the difference between you know two the closest I could get with two would be slightly different from each other so by having an extra one I would triangulate and achieve the accuracy that I wanted for transferring the bedding which is what it was all about but it required that required four keys that were undependent, unreliable, because uh, they weren't yet leveled. They might or might not have been squared in space properly. It was just too much preparation uh, for something that also had a uh, soft punching in it. And anyway, what happened was I put my key step on, my pre-leveled key, and I turned it up to just touch the key so that now it's in the right position for leveling, but it's also finished. It's already leveled itself. And then I realized, whoa, the key is touching the back rail and touching the balance rail. But unlike the dip sample where now it's no longer touching the back rail, it's touching the front rail and the balance rail, or it's touching the balance rail and the back rail, now it's touching all three rails. Aha.